That's the guy, right? The the statue of the thinker where it's the guy and he's got his hand on his yeah. chin. And he's like, but yeah. it would be like in real life and you're shitting. By Rodin, the kaiju. How does Jean-Paul Sartre, but that sounds like more fun. Because <laughs> I think one is an artist and one is part of Godzilla. <laughs> I'm, I have no idea. Kaiju sounds like a Godzilla thing. Oh, 100% Kaiju is, is, is but I, a I, Japanese I, I, giant monster. Yes. Yeah, but I think the artist was named Rodan, wasn't it? Oh. I don't think so. Google this shit. I, you want to put money on it right now? Scotty, Google this shit. Uh, I'm going to bet money. Jean-Paul Sartre. <clears throat> How much money I wanted on these uh, 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 We bet zero dollars, and I'm very wrong. <laughs> there you go. Rodan. Well, Rodin, probably. Who's Jean-Paul Sartre, then? Isn't he a French conceptual? Conceptual? Oh, my God. He's so ugly. <laughs> he's a playwright. <laughs> he chose the right <laughs> career. <laughs> is is he Marty Feldman's father? He chose the, he chose the right career. I love play. <laughs> I love play. I go back in time. <laughs> I was about to say his eyes follow you everywhere, but they're actually just looking in opposite directions. I think it's like a chameleon thing. He's got so much going on. <laughs> now you, over there in the corner, we need he, more stagehands. He can, and you, bring me a tuna melt. He's probably the best hockey player in the world. However, <laughs> he can't see anything in front of him. Except he's got, oh my God, that's amazing. So a question about this guy. Everyone, please Google Jean-Paul Sartre because it's brilliant. S-A-R-T-R-E. Uh, is he a... Is he a herbivore? Is he is he prey? Because <laughs> yeah. his eyes are facing out to the side of his head. That's actually very good. <laughs> his peripheral vision now, is through the roof. But... Can he focus them forwards? In which case, is he both a predator and prey in his habitat? I don't think when that he, guy can get that eye. When to he turn purposefully forward. goes cross <laughs> cross eyed, does he just go centered? <laughs> He'll never be able to see those three D drawings. You know what? Like... <laughs> It's Blood Feud with a she. You know how your eyes take everything in front of you and like they just kind of like patch in what's in the middle that like is like without your focal like within. Yep, I know where, I know right? where you're going. You know what I mean? Yep. What the heck does he see? Like, how does that picture come together in his he mind? Sees, he the sees dark the... liminal space between all things. <laughs> yeah. Where all yeah. the, the evil and like uh, um, Lovecraftian <laughs> creatures like slip into reality. Where the darkest things are <laughs> just lurking on the edge just of existence. Imagine cool standing cool dead in front of that man. <laughs> That's why he writes plays. Yeah. People if, need to if know. You, if you never moved, you would never see Yeah, you. just take like one step to the left and you're like, ah, where did you come from? <laughs> That's why he was always whipping his head from side to side. <laughs> To fill the gaps. <laughs> I've never heard of this guy before. What did he write? I mean, it looks like he was one of the key f- figures in the philosophy of existentialism and phenomenology. Way to read what's on the French screen. French 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 French. <laughs> in the wrong order. I really too. like the word phenomenology. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah, 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 yeah. To the estate of Jean-Paul Sartre. <laughs> if he is dead, please don't sue us. It's cut to his grandson sitting there listening to this, and his eyes are like, Can you... <laughs> they're the wrong way. Yeah. They're the opposite. And he's just so mad. He's like, oh, Grandfather, son. our powers combined, we can see the universe. He, he turns to his two brothers, who both have one eye that's just off in the opposite direction. Like, yeah. How dare he? The council of the other seers. <laughs> <laughs> must know about this and he gets up to go grab his phone but runs into the wall <laughs> hey Scotty look One up I can see up and down <laughs> look up Simone Beauvoir I just want to know if she was blind he had a lifelong open relationship with her <clears throat> oh. <laughs> he gets in his car and he's got a series of mirrors right down so he can see straight I just want to say this man was batting way out of his league well, he was a conceptual, like, uh, uh, he was a phenomenologist. Quite a phenomenon down, himself. You sit down in court together, and you're like, Your Honor, I'm sure there's some way we can see eye to eye on this. And he goes, you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm Scott. I'm your game keeper for the session. <laughs> And soon to be sued out of this position by a relative of Jean-Paul Sartre.
Oh, oh boy. Um, uh, my name is Clark, and I play Lotion, the half elf cleric who is currently residing in the body of someone called the Tinker. Right, the Tinker is that right? The Tinkler, according to the the lore of the Weaver and that tribe who was guarding the portal. Oh, God. Or gaseous mind that makes you hallucinate depending on right 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 depending on who's correct here shun or everyone else jeremy <laughs> what do you think dare dare to be different shun. dare to be stupid and i'm steven i i play shun who is quite clearly probably right because pff, why wouldn't i be um yeah shun is a halfling monk and uh yeah, yeah, that's you know he's just just out here having a good time in his in his dream because that's what we're in. It's a dream. Don't let anyone tell you any different. You know, I just a few weeks ago I finished watching all of the uh, Freddy Krueger Nightmare on Elm Street series. So maybe it's like a Freddy Freddy Krueger dream series. I actually just had a thought recently of like, what if like Scott had someone cast Dream on me, and I just are you trying to like Inception me? <laughs> yeah. Man, Roddy, introduce yourself here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hi, folks. My name is Rod. I Hi, Rod. Play, uh, hey, buddy. Uh, I play Alicordia, a uh, human female rogue uh, who's inhabiting a body of a big-ass male Goliath who uh, now, according to my mini that I made, uh, has Wolverine chops, uh, a nice big head of hair, um, one arm because the mini lost the arm, and a big axe and a half cape on one shoulder. Sort of like a played cape, I guess. Because uh, I wanted to be dramatic like that. Yeah. And speaking of dramatic, what happened last time? And a single 10 foot tall, 8 foot wide door that looks like ocean water. Somehow standing just in the frame of the door, shimmering with iridescent light. Shun poke his head through. We must be part of some sort of holy war. It's a group hallucination. <laughs> That's group, what we're going through. Group right hallucination? Now. Perhaps we're in an alternate Telbos. What's the name of this land? Redelbos. And the Tower of the Willful Sufferer is clearly denoted on the map, but it doesn't say where Kyrodos would say Quernos. It doesn't say that. It just says Tower of the Willful Sufferer. There's a nearby village that reports some local gang who's been stealing all of their cows. As the sun sets, you hear in the background, (laughs) this carriage crests over the ridge, and it's made entirely of bones, and four skeletons are riding on top of it, and one's driving. (laughs) The village is starving. They keep taking all of our beautiful livestock. They take it off to this manor. One of them mentioned about the dawn. His face goes pale. And he goes, Dawn Bone Skellington. <laughs> and she kicks open the doors for the Dawns. Housewarming. Or housekeeping. If you'd come to my house in terms of friendship, we're going to add an agreement and a discussion. Instead, you come here on this the day my daughter is to be married, and you blow up parts of my house. Why have you returned to my house in such a state of disarray when at one time we were friends, we were companions? What do you mean, we've been here before? Of course you've been here before. The other reason that I came to power in this uh, local township that I affectionately refer to as the Bone Zone. When you came here originally, you said I could have dominion over these lands. The Calumvirites wouldn't bother me no more. But what oh, is this? Change of plan. Say, uh, how'd you die? Who killed you? Well, it's just, well, yeah, it's just personal questions on a first date. I brought you back. His, I think you owe me that much. His father killed me. The man that he loves more than anything in the world, who raised him and was there consistently throughout his childhoods, never gambling, paragon of virtue, head of the city god. His is an... Oh, uh, Alicordia. Da- Davos? That's right. He's a very outstanding gentleman. He murdered me. Okay. Can we open the scene? Scene. Door doors are closing in the Don's office as the Don and his daughter are leaving and it's all Oh his daughter wasn't there with us. Hey guys, can we talk about what the fuck just happened? Where where was I? I just 
remember appearing in this room. There's dirt on the ground there. <laughs> there are leaves in his hair. And like bits of ceramic, <laughs> there's leaves in his hair, and one is covering half of his face. <laughs> what oh he boy. doesn't notice because it's just on top of the hair. Well, my boy, we've learned that there's something there's a taint to your your halfling luck. You were turned temporarily into a potted plant. We decided what kind of plant it was. It was some kind of Monsera, I think. Some sort of Monsera. Beautiful plant. You looked... It was very apt for your appearance. <clears throat> this is a weird dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. It is indeed. Now, there's three magic items, but oh, there's so four of right, us. you're here, too. Yes, I'm still here. <laughs> um, who do we... How do we decide who, which three get the items? Um, well, let's see what they are first, maybe. That's fair. I just feel like, you know, I've been here. Maybe I get dips. There's three and there's four of us? Yeah, unfortunately. It's like I'm, I wasn't accounted for by the dawn. <laughs> well, if you're already ruling yourself out, then that kind of speaks volumes here, doesn't it? That cut me real deep. Real <laughs> deep, just that. <laughs> and he goes and he sits in the corner and he <laughs> crosses his arms. <clears throat> and he just keeps looking over at you with like the... Mm. You said it. The stink eye. The stink eye. I have three. Do you know who I am? Sorry. All I, right, so like, let's see what we got. <laughs> I've got... <laughs> is that how this is going to end? Like, have you any last words, <laughs> before Sir we, Steel? Before we quantum leap out, leap out of here, you're like, I have one more thing to do. <laughs> All those people we spared? <laughs> yeah. yes. Pull the... the pull the, pull the, the... gallows. The pull the lever, lever crunk. <laughs> Wrong lever. <laughs> All right, sorry, Scott. So, <laughs> no, no, that was good. I got three magic items in my phone, just in text format, and I'll send one to each of you. Um, and I kind of thought I'll just describe loosely what the object is, and the three of you can decide. And then if you want to cast identify or whatever, if this is a fucking pole axe of fire. I swear. Depending on the number of spell by slots you have for identify, how many I want to use, or or you can just like decide with these loose descriptions because some of them are tops. And one of them is like, wow. <laughs> Do you guys mind if I take first dibs, but roll for it? Well, I kind of figured that we could probably <clears throat> well, just I do just, a randomization D6 why don't I, roll. Or let's just hear what they are. Why don't I just tell you what they are before you decide what you're going to do? And you can decide yeah, on, yeah, yeah. on 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 air. Uh, there is a bell Bing. that looks very mundane. Does it have a dong doodle in it? It does. And while the bell looks very mundane, the dong doodle is made of some fine, precious metal. There is what appears to be a pork pie hat. <laughs> and we, know, a, we know who's getting that. And a bag that upon cursory examination appears to be filled with dried kidney beans. Sorry, the dried kidney beans are in what? Inside a of a bag. Oh, okay. Just a, little, just a little satchel. Oh, magic beans. Now, all of these items have been modified, so they're not... If you think you know a magic item, it ain't that. I want, I want Sir Steel to get the pork pie hat, because <laughs> okay, because all I can imagine is Buster Keaton, and he seems like the best Buster Keaton. Okay, he's in the corner like, <laughs> just grab the hat, wing it over to him, and it's like <laughs> and it lands perfectly. On his I will, I will forfeit the magic item. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, let's let's talk about this. Who wants what? I don't. None of those really. Th the only thing I'm really interested in is the beans. Because I could have seen the bell beans. for Lotion. Even. Yeah, that would make sense because he's had that bell. He's heard. Yeah. He's heard the dongs. He's heard the dongs, and but yeah, but it could also make some sense for Shun because you've slipped and fallen on the dong doodle. <laughs> Shun sees the bell and he just has this moment of PTSD. <laughs> it's still there. <laughs> Or just like, yeah, just a little bit of blood rushes to his penis. <laughs> <laughs> or to her clit. So, Alicordi is not really, she's still kind of staring off into the middle distance with that revelation of her dad kind of thing. So she's not really too a part of the conversation. Well, Alicordia over here rings the bell. Okay. You ring the bell and you feel this. Whatever happened over the past six seconds nobody except for you remembers. But they all remember you taking the bell out and ringing it for some reason. Oh. 
think of how many people you can execute now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit. God. <laughs> I'm not going to so tell you dark. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you fully what it does until you decide who gets what, but that's what happens. Like you ring this bell and like nobody remembers you saying anything except okay. It's like it's like you get a do-over of the past 6 seconds. But everyone distinctly remembers you taking a bell and ringing it like a jackass. Did you just ring that bell boy? What? Did, what? Did you just boy. call me a bell boy? No? Did I? What happened? Did you do something? Did you cast bad? Was that another magic surge? No. I just rang a bell to try and get Alicordia's attention. No, you didn't. Wait, wait, did we know? Did you you heard the bell ring. Know that he rang oh, the bell. He's oh, okay. But you don't remember, like, him picking it up or. Yeah. How'd that bell get in your hand? Well, I picked it up. When? Like, right before I rang it. That makes sense, but I don't remember that. Oh, well. Quit drinking. <sighs> the look on Clark's face where he is so pissed did at I, me. I can't remember but if I drank that little, uh, like, two-ounce bottle you did. of whiskey. I did I drink it. Did, yeah. okay, I reach in my pocket and I go, fuck. Give me a perception check. Womp, 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 womp. Um, that's a four. Not one four. There's there's a decanter of something on the counter. Maybe it's for breeze. You don't know. <laughs> um, now, Alicordia, you told us that your father was killed by Reggie the Knife back in our world on Telbos. But you just learned that he's alive and well here and apparently how, what did the dawn say a uh, paragon of a paragon of virtue something of a folk hero does that sound like your father she got a <laughs> stabs lotion no <laughs> <laughs> stops stabbing the desk stops and thinks about it <laughs> stabs her knife in so it has somewhere to go <laughs> no 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 she's got she's got like her axe and a, and a shield in her hand right so she might have been like her desk is no yeah. longer yeah. <laughs> just just like <laughs> the immediate in one swipe. <laughs> no, no, she she she's just been kind of like really staring off to the middle distance and like kind of not really paying attention. So like after after Sean rang the bell and shit like that, and no one remembers the last six seconds. She doesn't even remember anything like that. She's just kind of standing there and being like, uh, uh, uh yeah, uh. What was the question again? I, I, your father, girl. Uh, yeah. What? Well, he's alive in this world, but does it sound like your father? I. Like, what was your father like back on Telbos? He was never a paragon of virtue. I tell you that. No, he was a liar, a cheat, a thief, an asshole. Just, uh, just, you can see her kind of getting uh, ragey. Calm, <laughs> calm down, girl. I get, in a Goliath's body, I can hear the blood <clears throat> coursing through her veins. And <laughs> <laughs> holding on to like a metal piece of the wall and it's crunching slowly. <laughs> uh, she has her axe in like the hand. She's like, and she deals with And it smashes the table in front of her. I want to say, Meta uh, felt like a good time to try ringing that bell again, but no, no. <laughs> In the distance, yeah. you hear, And this antique table in my office. <laughs> it's worth... Worth 27,000 gold. <laughs> <laughs> a gift uh, to you on your wedding. <laughs> <laughs> so she's like, oh, oh fuck. Uh, uh, no, no, my father was never... Never a virtuous man. He was quite the opposite of a virtuous man. He, Interesting. He was... He, no. How... Why? Wait, if my father's alive here. Sean. Is your father. You're. Here, your father is supposed to be the. The living saint. Well, yeah, but like. But wait, maybe there's. But we're talking like. Like your, like Alicordia's dad. This isn't like some Goliath dad. I yeah. wonder if the living saint will look like my dad, though. But because we're wait. in a dream, like maybe like my dad will still be my dad. Wait, this. I think there's, this is, 
Maybe your dad will be a Goliath. I don't know. Well, wait. So, back home, I'm a girl. I'm young. I'm short. I'm a... I, I'm, I'm a thief. Here, I'm a Goliath. And very strong. And a man. You're a short halfling. But here, you're a tall woman. Lotion, you're alive, but you're like, dead here. Well, like... But, but not dead. But my father is alive. You're more alive on the inside, it feels like. You're... <clears throat> um, I see what you're saying, Alicordia, but... Meta, I'm like... <clears throat> meta, it's woken I, up inside. <clears throat> this is meta. I don't think Lotion would maybe clue into this, but I... The way I interpret it is, in the world of Telbos, Lotion is reliant on alcohol and faith. And in this world, he's reliant on technology and Bane juice and <laughs> to keep him alive. So <laughs> like, Lotion is like and the closest to himself out of the three of us. But like, uh, I don't know, L Lotion would say, yes, we seem to be in topsy-turvy world, but do you want to go meet your father? He's actually, coincidentally, he's at the, the tower we want to go to, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, like, might as well if he's like there anyways. And Lotion says, well, in my opinion, there are no coincidences. So I say we go meet the Davos of Redelmos. Say that five times fast. Do I have to? No, don't. <laughs> don't do it. Am I going to be executed if I don't? <laughs> But you can you can definitely see on Alcordia that there's there's like gears turning in her head. This is kind of a a thing where it's definitely she wants to talk to whatever this part of her father is, <clears throat> um, because it seems to be quite opposite of what she knows of the man that she um, has seen die. Now, like. How well did you know this, a Flurry or Osak guy? Uh, uh, I've known Rosak for the last three years. Well, and like, how well would you say yeah. you recognize him? Well, pretty well. Considering. Now, the Don, would you say he probably has like similar bone structure to this guy? Are you fucking stupid? It's not like I look at the bone structure of people. <laughs> Is there such a thing as like, uh, Plastic surgery on bones. <laughs> what? <laughs> can, 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 can there be a bone lift? Well, I'm just trying to figure <laughs> out because you're asking like... This guy's like <laughs> bone talks. Because <laughs> you're saying how like you're different here. I wonder if like he's also <laughs> different here. Oh, I got it. Thank Inspiration God. for Clark. <laughs> Begrudgingly. Well, that's a good, good point, Sean. I don't know. He... But he could maybe like do some kind of like check for it. I don't know. His voice, <laughs> his voice was different. However, he is also. But he a has skeleton. no vocal cords anymore. Yeah, he's a skeleton with no tongue or vocal cords, so I don't really know how he was talking. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck, man! You can make a check to see if <laughs> if the skeleton man is the man that you knew in life. It's a high fucking check, dude. <laughs> There's a lot of factors there. No, I. I <laughs> That's I, like I, saying. Hmm, I'm no forensic yeah, anthropologist. Yeah, those cheekbones don't but, look uh, high enough. I'd like yeah. to determine how this animal died in the woods. Or I'm also imagining like you're in like uh, medical school and they've got like the skeleton hanging up in the corner and you go, Grandma? <laughs> <laughs> well, even just think like when you look at like, like a bear skeleton or something like... <laughs> Sorry, Scott. Back before we had the ability to like cheaply mass produce like high quality plastics. Yeah, they were all real. They were all real skeletons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you literally could have been a doctor, gone to medical school, and been like, Grandma? <laughs> Please continue. Fun sorry to cut you off one more. Fun fact in the original <laughs> Continue. No no in the nineteen thirty or nineteen thirty nineteen thirty uh Frankenstein movie, there's a couple of skeletons that, that are legitimate human skeletons. Yeah. My dad's got a human skull. 
His I mean, we all do, well, He, he yeah. should. At least one everyone should have. <laughs> Did he obtain it legitimately or from a hunting trip that he doesn't talk about anymore? <laughs> so maybe figure out the, the items? Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Right, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. So, like, uh... Bell, pork pie hat, bag of beans. Yeah. Alicordia looks at, like, the bell. Did somebody actually toss the pork pie hat over to... Sir Steel, was that a thing that happened? Or I want to see. I want to imagine Lotion. Lotion. I just imagine you toss it on him. He just blows up. I do imagine that Lotion picks up this because, like, a pork pie hat is a silly looking hat in my opinion. Yep. And I look at this thing, and I and I look at my priest hat, which is a really effing cool looking hat. And I go, "It, it is." It reminds me of the guy me. from uh, Poltergeist. Uh, oh, oh, that's good. It's always been modeled off of uh, Carl Urban's hat in Priest. Oh, which I haven't seen. But like, if you look up, if you look it up in Google Image, it's it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> and Lotion looks at this straw pork pie hat and goes, "No, this is this is far too silly." And I, this is like a frisbee. At DC ten dex check, please. <laughs> oh, I have a so this Tinker's body only ha- Tinkerer's body only has a. Zero dexterity. I Means flat chance, my boy. Uh, ten on the nose. Boop. It lands on his head. And just tilts to one side a little. <laughs> it lands on his head, and Sir Steel just goes. <laughs> and where he was sitting. <laughs> where he was sitting, there's now a Snow Nephilim, which is like the dark gnomes. Oh, yeah. Uh, and he's wearing like a long flowing priest's robe, and he goes. What the fuck just happened? Do you sorry. see this? Am I? Are we? Uh, what? He reaches for his head and he pulls the hat <laughs> off and he turns back into himself and he goes, Huh. And he puts it back on and he turns back into Snur Niflheim. He goes, oh, Look at me. I. <laughs> and he's he doing like a dancing. jaunty little jig. Like, oh, look at me. I've got tiny little legs. <laughs> Lotion's like, Huh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was looking at his tiny little hands like now I can feel that I've got big old hands but they look tiny I like to imagine oh, that okay wait. Sir Steel who's like a paladin in full plate right yeah it's such a coward but as soon as he becomes the gnome he's suddenly so brave <laughs> <laughs> like the fight in Irish like the, guy. It, yeah. <laughs> it's that but with like a gray skin tone he's like who wants some beef uh, <laughs> let me corn your beef you motherfuckers <laughs> Alicordia Al- walks over to him and it's like uh, gotcha, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, Sir, Sir Steel hold, hold out your hand so and he, he hold, holds his hand out that so she pokes the middle of his hand I mean like feels, like like that like in the middle of the palm it feels like a hand yeah. and then goes like above there's still hand. hand there his hands are so much bigger than this uh, dark gnome hands. Is that it's some type of illusion hat? Wait, give me this thing. Takes it <laughs> off his head. No, my power. <laughs> <laughs> Takes it off his head, and then Alicardi puts it on. Becomes like a drow. Hold on. It's a Goliath paladin. <laughs> it's a slight t- change in skin like, tone. It's Gaston, but he's a Triton man. <laughs> 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 oh, one swims like Triton. <laughs> Hold on, she takes this thing off and then sticks it on Shun. Hey, what the hell? Should I be afraid? Potted plant is back. <laughs> <laughs> but he's got a little hat on. <laughs> I rolled for it. I wish I could just make it potted plant. <laughs> Why would you? Why would you take that from me? <laughs> Hat goes on top of Shun, and then just this like portly looking dwarf with a, with a with a gray beard with streaks of red in it, and and just like at least four hundred pounds. <laughs> now this is the second still time female we've, or male, male. This is the male. second time we've seen you have take on the visage of a very portly dwarf. <laughs> I forgot about that. Such a better oh, costume. Well, well, it's a roll, I guess. Well, I know that's when good. When was that? When was that? That was uh, the party. Um, uh, sir. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's oh, lotion. young boys here. <laughs> well, 
Well, let's see what Lotion looks like with this. <laughs> and I put it on Lotion's head. Generic human man. <laughs> <laughs> Lotion's Hello. like, I'm a real boy now. <laughs> my name is John Smith. <laughs> I like doing my taxes. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to go for a walk with my dog? <laughs> I enjoy human activities, such as walk Wait, can or we leg. <laughs> can we say that I'm, uh, oh, fuck, what's the Facebook owner's name? Mark Zuckerberg. Oh, Mark Zuckerberg. 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 Yes. Zuckerberg. I'm Mark Zuckerberg. You're Zark Muckerberg. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon. Would you like to partake in the practice of cooking meat over an open flame like humans do? There's a piece of dry toast <laughs> in your hand that you just eat and never break eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, this hat seems like some type of illusionary hat that makes, I don't know. Well, Lotion, this might actually help you if you're getting back into the tower or the willful suffer because then you don't look like an undead thing so remember what the dawn said oh right i totally forgot about that being undead i'm a bit of a monstrosity according to the ilmatari i'm pretty sure this hat fits over your regular hat so you can still wear your <laughs> regular hat can we say time. that it goes underneath my <laughs> priest hat it goes underneath no it just goes on top <laughs> it just goes on top <laughs> The hat has disappeared every time someone's oh, put it on okay. like it's still there and you okay. can remove it gotcha, but gotcha, it's gotcha. completely invisible Okay, gotcha. <clears throat> um, I mean, this is... I think you're right, girl. This might be the best plan of action if we're going to go into the the tower. Um, Sir Steel. Sorry, Sir Steel. <laughs> but we might need it if we need him to go into battle. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Is there like a paperweight? No, 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 no. Is there no, like no, a paperweight fine. on the desk? Yeah. Just pick up like the simple paperweight and go, but you can have this. It's... It's a bone carved from wood. <laughs> he goes, ah, yes, a tree bone. <laughs> Very rare. It's I fine. I didn't know. It's fine. I didn't know trees have bones. You know what it's made out of? I don't. <laughs> okay, what about these other two here? We got like a bag of beans, and we got this bell that you guys don't remember me picking up. You well, didn't you pick didn't. it up. Well, it's in my hand, so clearly I did. Whatever. Well, okay, well, well just ring, I don't know, ring the bell, see what happens. Fine. I ring the bell. So are you going to ring the bell or what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to everyone but you, the last six seconds didn't Well, no, happen. but they heard but they the bell. only recall you ringing a bell, okay. like, but like, they don't see you lift your hands to ring it. They're just like, there's a blackout right. period, and you're Wait, just like... We wouldn't even remember asking him to do it. Yeah. No. So he'd be ringing the bell, there's and we'd be this, like, what are you doing? Yeah, why are you ringing the bell? Period. You don't recall asking him to ring the bell. He's rung the bell, and now he's just standing there, and you're like... Yeah, we didn't ask you to ring it yet. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> you gotta stop ringing that bell. Sean. You literally... Is this what it's like to be a woman in the world these days? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> are you gaslighting oh. me? <laughs> What's a gaslight? God, that would have been a better name for it. The gaslighter. Uh, <laughs> we're retconning everything. No, we're not. Back to the there's, a, there's a pun in everything. We're doing it. Should, why are you ringing that bell? You told me to. No, we didn't. I we think were... it makes you guys forget the like last like six seconds. Bullshit. Like, Give me this thing. No. And then she wrestles it from you. Strength check. Do we want to do contested strength checks? Unless you let her take it. <laughs> no. Okay, then yeah, contested strength checks. Uh, with whatever your insane modifier is. <laughs> it's, it's plus four. I've got 19. I also have 19. Your mod is a 19. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay, yeah. But uh, you have the higher mod, yeah. so. Paired scores, higher mod wins. You grab it. It's a good wrestle for it, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, for a human yeah, woman, I put up a pretty good... You guys both rolled 19? Sorry, I thought you were saying your strength scores were 19. I rolled 16 plus three. I got 15 plus four. Sorry, continue. Uh, and you get it. And you ring it. And then all everyone remembers except for Goliath Cordia is at one point Shun was ringing the bell and now Goliath Cordia is ringing the bell. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's getting mad at <laughs> yeah, everybody's just like, Lotion's Good, still yelling, yelling at Shun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we get back and yeah, Lotion's still yelling at Shun and Shun's just like Wait. I'm like, I'm like, thank how you. How did for, you get? I'm like, thank you for putting that. Stop ringing the bell. No. Why is everyone ringing Wait. this bell? Lotion, here, yes. take us. Why? Ring it. You don't remember giving him the bell. <laughs> You're just like, like 
How'd you get the bell? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> you gave it to me. How did... I, what? Okay, 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 okay. okay it's like... Is Do I remember some... telling them that it was the six seconds thing? You would remember the effects yeah. of the bell. So you're like piecing this together by way of going, I keep blacking out and things keep happening. Yeah, guys, I think it just... But you don't, like, there's no lost time. It's you want like, a glass? It's going back and it's retro... Ooh. If you guys want glasses, I can go get glasses. I'm yeah. not drinking scotch yet. I'm going to save that for like... I was thinking of saving that. I was thinking of saving that. Yeah, time but you do whatever there. you want. Um, uh, I got beers if you want a beer instead, just well, for now, Roddy. I got beers too. Oh. I just, I mean, oh, hey, oh, <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> oh, just have a little snippet. Just, right just, now. just the tip, baby. Um, I think by transitive property of you all having rung the bell, except for Steel, you all understand what's Steel, happening. Would you like to try ringing the bell? No, I'm upset. I'm in the corner. <laughs> Lotion slowly stops and thinks for a second. He goes. Is this a okay, meta? Is this a play on having your bell rung? Kind of. Okay. It's called what? the unronger donger. <laughs> a very normal bell <laughs> with its dong doodle replaced with a magical piece of shaped metal. When you ring this, and I put S in apostrophe, and then the word bell, because it casts a spell, it casts a modified version of Gift of Gap. Mm. When you cast the spell, you skillfully reshape the memories of listeners in your immediate area so that each creature of your choice within five feet, which we've been playing loose, fast and loose with for this scene, because um, you only get you only get two uses per day, but we're playing fast and loose yeah, in yeah, this yeah. scene too. Um, each creature of your choice within five feet of you forgets everything that was said or done in the past six seconds. However, every affected listener remembers you taking the bell out and ringing it, and you face the normal social consequences of having <laughs> doing this mid interaction. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, and then we've got like what I'm assuming is a pork by hat of uh, some sort of uh, disguise self. Um, the the pork who's that guy hat? Yeah, pork <laughs> who's that guy? And then Lotion look. He's like, okay, so the bell seems to make people forget the past few seconds. The hat seems to disguise you magically, similar to disguise self. I knew some clerics who knew how to cast that. You don't get to choose the form. No. It's chosen at random by a roll that I do. Yep. Is it, meta, is it every time you put the hat on? Like it, uh, It'll is, reset when we stop doing the fun stuff in the uh, room. Okay. But I okay. don't want to uh, roll a hundred times and give you new form. Understood. I, was just, also, uh, I thought you, it was based off who you were. Once you leave the room, you get three uses per day. Okay. There's like a nexus crystal in the corner of the room from the dawn and it says... Unlimited tries of the fun <laughs> shit. Unlimited slots. And in it's this like room. it's it's nailed down. Unlimited super slots. Hard, so you can't take the Nexus crystal with you. <laughs> and but then uh, Lotion looks at the sack of beans and goes, "These beans. I mean, I suppose we could use them as rations for our trip." Hold on. <clears throat> okay. Well, if these two crazy things do some type of magical thing, please eat a bean. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't Is we bean boozled? How many beans are there? Uh, nine. There's nine beats. I rolled for it. Well, fuck Steven. Well done. Alicardia will grab an afternoon coming up with these goddamn puns. And <laughs> yeah. Does it on an off beat? Or right, Alicardia will grab one bean and then just throw it into the corner. No, you have to eat them. Okay, you have eight left. Pull up the chart. Yeah, if Clark sent or uh, uh, Scotty's saying eat one, and it's like. Don't eat one. Please roll a D100. Oh, uh, yeah. 32. Turns into a potted plant. <laughs> oh, no. Anytime Scott's face does that. Oh, boy. A potted plant appears in the corner of the room. <laughs> Are you serious? A Shut small up. plant with blue flowers. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah! In a pot. <laughs> grows from the bean. The plant is three feet tall. What? It has three what buds like and this plant's gonna kill us somehow. <clears throat> three open flowers. Uh. You don't know what the plant does, but it feels important and you should take it with you. Okay. How big is three feet tall? It's like a fern. Like Shun's normal <laughs> height. <laughs> um, can we do like a nature check on it? There's, I'll allow that. It uh, Arcana, if you want to figure out its effects. 
they're both one for me, so. 15, or 16. With a 16, I will give you that the number of buds that you have, and this is buds open per, uh, so there's three buds and each has three flowers, which means that uh, you have a total of nine flowers. None of them have bloomed yet. You feel like in combat, every round, one flower is going to bloom and something might happen. Huh. Oh. I think we should take it with us. Sir Steel, can we put you on potted plant duty? I suppose. I mean, if you want to give me <laughs> I mean, one actually, I take that back. item. You know what? I'm so sorry, Mr. Well, Sir Steel. Can we gift you this magical plant? <gasps> well, I'm so, oh my god. I'm just happy to be involved. You know, I'm just happy to be part of the team. Yes, 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 yes. Part Wait, the quick, team. quick. You three the guys are my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Quit on the bell. <laughs> Wait, what? What's Ring the bell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't even think of that. We you'd just one. be like, wait, where did this plant come from? What? <laughs> Dingling. Uh, Sir Steel, you forgot your plant. Oh, <gasps> oh my plant. Oh, God, my God. Good thing we get infinite uses in this room, huh? <laughs> so Sir Steel picks up this giant fern and he goes, I don't know about my boys, my boys, <laughs> and female. I don't know about you, but feel a magical urge to protect this plant with my life. Well, here. You do that then. And you all kind of do too. Okay. Why do I feel like this plant's going to try to eat us? No, no. Like, you genuinely feel a magical effect that you should protect this plant. Lotion steps forward. Life. Lotion steps forward and locks eyes with the plant. S- no, Sir Steel. <laughs> Sir Steel says, you're right. Our our plant. And I, I hug Sir Steel, so that the plants in between like us. Like the leaves. Like- <laughs> <laughs> I, I said, mean, we must protect our plant. Maybe like we I should Maybe we like should a- put it in somewhere safe, like uh, the the bag of holding that I've got here with all the knives in it. That's a bad idea. No, no it doesn't like that. No, no. no. I, can, I can tell. It's organic material. It won't last very long in there. What's that? Pla- planty? You want me to kill him? <laughs> what? What? Hmm? Uh, what? Hmm? What? What? Maybe, maybe we should. Why do I feel like this plant's like some eldritch horror? No, it's fine. It's just, yeah. <laughs> there's a magical effect that, like. Yeah, no, I think I've seen this one before. <clears throat> we don't have Never to tell us. We can figure it out if we want. If you want, we'll just no. Continue. You all feel friendly towards the plant based okay. on the wording of what you rolled here. What a pretty plant. Okay. Well, now, uh, now we've kind of figured out what all this stuff does, and maybe, maybe we should just head the tower. I agree. Is, is there a yellow brick road? As we walk outside and the and I and that big j- big half giant skeleton is still like Why busting down like <laughs> busting down structures on the wind. Tap tap tap. So you open the doors from the office and you start heading down. Well we can hear various sounds of fighting from the You're heading down no there's a bunch of skeleton people just standing in the lobby staring at you and like the reception's kind of let out, and they're all milling about. Everyone, please make for me a perception check. We could still arrest them. <laughs> Nine. Ooh, twenty-two. Oh wait, you you t- you use Is wisdom you ours. Yeah, wisdom and stats intelligence are your characters. Okay, stats. perception. We got twenty-one. Mark, can we do a super cut of all the times Steven's asked me that? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have time to do that. It would, uh, it would, would be, take it would, way too long. It would be an it's, only been, it's only been like twice. <laughs> I've cut out other Because times. all the other times, <laughs> yeah. it's I've just used... <laughs> You've just shun. gone with it, yeah. Um, so with 22 and a 21, Shun and Alicordia, you notice some of the skeletons that you killed earlier are in amongst the party mingling. And they're side-eyeing you like, these motherfuckers. Lotion, you're just you mean like, tomb, we did tomb. it. We conquered the mansion. <laughs> tomb Hanks. Uh, tomb Hanks has reformed himself, but because you have parts of his body still, it's just a skeleton head on a tray that's going around with canopies. <laughs> and he, you can just see him of... like trying to eat the canopies, and the waiter's like, no, 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 no. These are not for you. What skeletons have we killed? The bard? Um, the you, bruiser? You killed the bruiser, the bard, the Bruiser is still up. The bard is missing, but he's like back up and he's standing there in the lobby, like I'm gonna fucking kill you one day. 
Uh, <laughs> and you, you could have sworn you had killed him. Hmm. Interesting. In the basement, you hear vaguely <laughs> the muffled sounds of inter eternal combat. <laughs> half, half Russian, <laughs> half American <laughs> pop. <laughs> oh, it's in the ask. Is that the best you've got? Ah, Biat! Just right. a dragon begging for death. Biat! Um, well, um, just be light out of here. We don't need to talk to anyone. Congratulations. I hope you have a happy, happy death together. Shun, yeah, Shun goes up <laughs> to the happy couple. Congratulations on your wedding day. We will not arrest you today. Shun, just goodbye. But we'll see you first thing in the morning. The Don in just looks at you and nods without saying anything. Enjoy your bo bony moon. Sir hall. Steel in like full pellet and armor holding a plant. <laughs> yeah. He's like petting as he's coming down the stairs. Sean, you look like a normal human man now because you're wearing the hat still. No, 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 not Sean. <clears throat> uh, lotion. Sorry, lotion. Oh, yeah. I guess I'm wearing the hat. A boring human man. Yeah, just generic. Uh, when we say Mark Zuckerberg <clears throat> or is it Zuck? It's, it's the Zuck. Uh, <laughs> muck. Mark Zark Muckerberg. Zark Muckerberg. You Muckerberg. look like Muckerberg. You head down. The front doors are open. And you can see that there is a beautiful looking bone chariot with a bunch of tin cans tied to the back of it. Ah, oh, perfect. They've got a ride for us. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have one of mine? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Two skeleton horses and like a... <laughs> A skeleton wearing like a fine top hat and like a tailed jacket. It's just like Everyone. holding the reins and ready to go. <laughs> we should cut these cans off. We don't want to make too much noise. <laughs> Bunch of bone trumpeteers lined up all along the walkway. It's just like, <laughs> do we get in? Can we please get in? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> <clears throat> it's like, all right, well. <laughs> I'm I'm a little bit too big to sit in the sit in the front here, so I'm just going to ride in the back. There's that space where uh, like a porter or attendant would stand on the back of a horse carriage. Yep. Yeah, it fits perfectly. Yep. <laughs> All right, <laughs> off we go. I slam the I pull the door shut and I go. How how nice of the dawn slam. Illusion. <laughs> <laughs> I hop on. steel and the plant take the four <laughs> seats inside, and you just hear the sound of a whip cracking and all these bones start rolling and it rolls off. And just like about two minutes down the road, you hear. Those motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs>